are off on our two-week adventure up the coast. We have no real plan. Not a fucking sausage. Not a sausage. Nothing. We're just going to go and see where we end up. First stop, Shoal Bay. We've got our rooftop tent. We've got our pig in the back. Fast asleep. Uh, we've got all our camping gear, as you can see in the back of the car. Good morning. We have just woken up. Our car is parked just over there. We pulled up heaps late last night, set up the mattress and slept on the bed that Rob made in the back of the car, which was perfect. And now we've woken up and having coffee overlooking the beautiful Shoal Bay. We're not really meant to be camping here. Definitely not a campsite, but because we're sleeping inside the car, and nobody knows we're in there. We're trying to get away with that as much as possible because we actually get to camp in the most beautiful spots where no one else is. We stayed one night at Shoal Bay and we left there at about 10 a.m. this morning and now we're heading to Southwest Rocks to meet my sister and her husband and their two kids and we'll stay there for a night or two. two lovely evenings at Southwest Rocks with my sister and her family and now we have driven up to Nambucca Heads. We potted around there, couldn't find a beach that we really like so we've stopped here at Vala Bay. It is just phenomenal. So we're in bed in the car <laughs> and um, Piggy's behind us. <laughs> it's actually super cozy here. I think that we actually have the best view right now in the whole world. That's literally out the back door of the car we're sleeping in. It's so nice. It's so amazing. Look at the view to wake up to. Thanks. Oh, thanks. Piggy's in the bed. He's never allowed in the bed. Except in the mornings we bring him in for a little cuddle. This view right here. Do you know what? I reckon this beach has actually quickly become one of our favorite beaches in Australia. There's no one here. All the locals are lovely. The sand is white. So white, it squeaks when you walk on it. Just amazing. And it's surrounded by bush, which is just phenomenal. So we will definitely be coming back and highly recommend Beach. Rob's got his Madonna Vogue dancing shoes on and we don't know where we're gonna go next we could end up anywhere but it's midday we've spent a couple of hours of valor this morning now we're driving through the bush we'll just find another cool little beach and then back up again we stopped on the way because we found a building that has a giant beehive on the front. Literally. Yeah. You kind of expect it to be bigger, don't you? But then... Wow, look at them all. Getting really technical with all the different types of honey we have here. Nice. 
so we've set up for night number five, I think. And it's very funny because even though we are literally in the middle of nowhere, we still have that fear that we're gonna get in trouble because we're not really meant to be camping here. This is the view today from our bed. Pretty cool, huh? I'm waking up to today. Little piggies just coming for a cuddle. So phase one of deconstructing and reconstructing the car is take the bed out and then put the seats back up and repack the car out of the front seat into the back seats. Hey babe. Hello princess. Is it your favourite time? Thank you so much. I'm not allowed to pack the car anymore because I packed it once and I packed it wrong and everything fell out. <laughs> Was that dumb or was that strategic? When you camp how we've been camping, you obviously don't have access to luxuries such as a shower or a toilet or a dishwasher or even a washing machine. But what I have found is that as long as you're at a beachside car park where there's a shower, you have all of those things. All you need is a bar of soap. I thoroughly enjoyed staying at this beach. It's just been beautiful. We're gonna pack up shortly and head up the road. You ready, Piggy? <laughs> oh well. So we've just got to Yamba and we're doing our usual recce trying to find somewhere to camp. Unfortunately, all the beaches seem to be quite residential. <laughs> Um, and there's signs up saying that be careful of thieves uh, which makes me a little bit concerned to camp overnight because <laughs> I don't want my shit being stolen so we might go into a camp site for tonight what's this day six night number six we've slept in the car for the last five nights which is pretty good going at some really beautiful beaches we've accepted defeat we booked into a campsite and we've set up the rooftop tent and actually it's a pretty cool campsite look at this we're pretty happy with it waterfront view Mushrooms, but we're too scared to ask people <laughs> I might just have to bite the bullet and ask some of these dodgy looking creatures up here Do you want to go get some weed? Get some mushrooms instead I don't know where we're going to get them from Should we ask in here? There is one big joint Should I ask? around and there's no mushies available in Nimbin because it hasn't rained here since February they said or May a really long time ago anyway what's that that's really a year I just went into the hemp bar and the owners were telling me that they've actually just run out of water in their tank although I don't think it'd be a massive issue for them because they don't seem like they're the type of people that shower a lot <laughs> Next stop is Tweed Heads, and then we're gonna cruise down the coast to Brunswick Heads. He's like, this car is so bumpy. I actually think Hank can see more of Australia than most Australians. <laughs> Made it to Brunswick Heads, which is absolutely beautiful. What a destination. There's this little beach here, but the ocean is actually out there, and that's where the inlet is. And Brunswick is situated on this saltwater river, this ocean river that runs all the way inland. We've come down to a beach somewhere between Tweed Heads and Byron. I don't even know the name of it. 
parked up and had dinner and I think we'll probably stay here tonight. But we've got the most amazing show happening right now. I booked a campsite for a couple of nights in Byron just because they're hot on dodgy camping around there and it'd be nice to just relax and not have to worry that we're going to get booked. Today we've come out to Farm & Co which is about 45 minute drive away from Byron and we're just going to spend some time out here strolling around the farm and playing with the farm animals. Found the sunflowers. They're so pretty. So many sunflowers. So we figured out today we've been on the road for 11 nights. We're going to go check out Malambimbi today. The weather's a bit average and I think it's going to be for the next couple of days. So we're going to go to Malambimbi and maybe Lennox Heads today. And then we'll just see what happens, whether we hang around for a couple more nights or whether we chase the sun back down south. So we've come to Malanvimbi for the afternoon. We went to go to Crystal Castle, but there was no dogs allowed, so obviously we didn't go in. And aside from that, they were trying to charge $32 per person entry. 64 bucks for us to go in and have a look at a really big rock. I don't think so. So Crystal Castle, big no-no from me. I'm actually almost certain that Malambimbi is where all the hippies come to die. There are some very interesting people around here. <laughs> Found the cutest little cafe for brunch today. Look at this. How sweet. Hey babe. <laughs> We're just cruising down the beach now for our last day in Byron. It's a beautiful day today, the sun is out. Walking down a bush track and then we see this sign. That makes me worried. <laughs> so we've been here in Byron for five nights so far. It's been lovely but I'm definitely ready to get out of the holiday park and back into camping next to a beach because it's just that much nicer and quieter. And although you don't have the facilities that you get in a campground, you do get peace and quiet. And that's the main thing, <laughs> I think. That $30 umbrella was a good investment. Hanky pants, it's got some shade for our last day. One more night at Vella Beach. We just couldn't stay away. This place is so beautiful. I mean, look at it. It's just white sand as far as the eye can see. And that little inlet over there is just so nice to lie next to and relax. I bit the bullet and decided to come home today because we were just delaying the inevitable. An awful sleep last night, so we just thought we would hit the road and end the trip. It's been fun. Thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, leave a comment and a thumbs up below, and make sure you um, press whatever button you have to press so you get notifications that I put up another video you want those notifications because they're gonna come and they're gonna be good uh thanks for watching bye